And welcome back, everybody here in Twitch chat, and everybody on YouTube who's watching this later on, for part four, last part of our sub battle stream tonight. We've got about an hour and a half left that we're going to be battling. So far, I am up on team chat, but team chat is trying to make a comeback, starting here with Lord Jaraxxus is going to be the next person that I'm going to be facing. So I need to spin the wheel and see what deck I am playing. Let's see what I got here. Rakdos. All right, I'm playing Rakdos. <laughs> okay, he's pushing stuff off the table. Okay. So we need to do challenge match, best of three. We're doing Rakdos midrange as our deck. And let's see, we need to update our basics. I want, yeah, we'll, we'll just go, we'll just go double pillar. All right, so I need seven swamps, eight mountains. Ah. Okay. This is our Rakdos deck that we're going to be playing this round. So I'm playing a different... If you're just kind of like watching the, the YouTube video for, for now, you're just kind of joining in. I'm playing a different deck every single round against subscribers. We spin that wheel. Alright. Best of three. Whoops. No. Get out of here. Get out of here. Challenge match, best of three. Yeah, I had it right. Okay. All right, here we go. Ooh, I get to be on the play. Lucky. Is there a good swap for Phoenix in this deck? There, I'm sure there probably is. Um, maybe like four mana Chandra, or um, or Angrath. Angrath would be a good one. I know that's another thing that's rotating out, so you may not have Angraths. Yeah, no, I, I understand not wanting to burn wild cards. Honest, honestly, this deck, this may not be a deck to kind of make without Phoenix, to, to be honest. Phoenix is a, is a big part of this deck. It's just the best option by a ways. Yeah, because that, yeah, that's the thing. It, it blocks and attacks so well. It's very good on offense and defense. It's just it's just kind of like the perfect card. Yeah, Hellkite could be yeah, Hellkite could be an option. Honestly, playing something like Ravenous Chupacabra, it's different, but it <clears throat> it could be an option too. That's my water, Hawkeye. I don't know why you think it's 10 o'clock and time for me to feed you yet. 
You still got an hour and a half before you're that boy. I can't see the chat anymore, Hawkeye. Yeah, Phoenix is rivals of Ixalan. Yeah. So we have very similar decks here, the Grixis and the Rakdos mid-range decks here. <clears throat> so much cat hair. Ugh. Yeah, I'm throwing away some of your cat here. The immortal Nicole Bolas. The immortal Hawkeye, the cat. The immortal. That's you. Hmm. So Grixis, mid-rangey stuff. It's like Fry doesn't actually kill like some of the cheaper things. Hmm. I guess I don't play Shock. I guess Shock gets replaced by Fry. Maybe cast down over strike. Cast down being something that can kill the one drop more efficiently. Let's try that. All right, Hawkeye's focused in on the game here. So that should be two. Keep. All right, get that folly in there. Let's keep, keep up Fry here instead of putting in like a tapped and grass rampage. Or sorry, tapped blood crypt. <laughs> sorry. I'd like to stop drawing lands. Darn. That was an expensive hand. Dad. 
attack. Alright, let's light up the stage. Light it up. Killing the boss. We're taking up. Taking up. Your efforts are futile. I have other schemes to attend to let your weak minds crumble. Chandra, you need more control. Don't worry. I brought company. Honestly, I should be I should be minusing on the duress here and duressing away the other Nicobolas. Well, that's that's a Chandra. That was worst case scenario for me. And see if you make it to Everyone knows the bigger explosions are more fun. Keep the mountain as a potential discard to Ravager. Is annoying. I think Lord Draxus has this one. What the heck? I messed up by not not casting duress with the Chandra. Should have done that. Should have just duressed and I guess taken the big Chandra to make sure that that Lord Draxus didn't have a sweeper. Mm. But who knows? Maybe we, maybe we'll stop drawing lands. My deck's not really built to want eight lands. Maybe draw like Rekindling Phoenix. It does some work. It's kind of risky.
Okay, so Lord Drax's plan is just to have Nicol Bolas grab Chandra and Chandra minus. So I might as well just kill this Dreadhorde Butcher first. But still a little risky. I, I, I have direct damage and haste and stuff like that. Just down to four is not very much. Lightning Strike, Butcher, War Boss. Nope, Duress. Not too hot for you. I always have an answer. Use this lightning strike earlier to kill Chandra instead of Angras Rampage. Hey, use Rampage. Fires without me. I think the only way I actually win this. Is by doing one damage here and drawing another lightning strike. But yeah, I could have definitely could have killed Bolas. This Knight of the Evan Legion is a huge, huge threat too, though. Yeah, the, I'm playing Rakdos midrange. You can find it in here. I'm not updating MTG bots uh, deck list because I'm playing. We're doing sub battle streams where I'm playing a different deck every single match, so I'm not trying to go through and find the deck list for every deck and up updating it every match. But you can find them in there. This is Rakdos midrange that we're currently playing. Death means nothing to me. So close. Two damage off. Set the deck command to dis display your stream decker profile the same as decks for this stream, maybe. Oh, just Okay. And big Chandra and everything too.
right. Game number three. We're gonna need to draw one land. Don't really want to draw very many more than that. Just one. Just one will do. Temple of Skrylance? In the Grixis deck? Off color Skryland. It's a little bit of an awkward mana base there. Agent's End is pretty great. Poor Dreadhorde Butcher. He's just trying to get in a bunch of damage for me. <laughs> yep, this is your song, Boot. Dread give Dreadhorde Butcher double strike? Ooh, that is mean. Alright, we'll do the obvious plays. This thing out of here. Down to eight. We'll see if there's a sweeper in our future. Yeah, that's kind of a sweeper. Okay, good turn. Uh, we bricked. So if Lord Draxus has a Planeswalker left, we're in a lot of trouble. Wow, Rampage off the top. Sack that creature. Down to three. Three little life. Okay. Guess we trade. I kind of think I don't block here from them. No, nah, I guess you kind of have to block, don't you? Down to two. Too little life. Uh, too many lands. Oh, that thing's good. Ever see a volcano it's a slow burn, person? though. You're about to. Chandra. Oh, like someone's getting a little sweaty. Yeah, I guess. I was hoping to draw my own Chandra. Team chat's barely hanging on this one. Hey, what's up, Jim? Let's make this quick. Jim with the sub. It's not too hot for you. 
Thank you so much there. That's not... Not good enough. Guess I'm going war boss. I'm so, I'm so close. Is it if I go um if I go the other one, then Chandra can minus an exile, Judith. That at least deals one damage. So many good cards in my deck. Ugh. No, Chandra gets to exile this. That's not one of them. Oh, it looks like removal spell over there for Lord Draxus. Yeah, Dreadhorde Butcher. Three mana Chandra. Lightning Strike. No <laughs> I wouldn't even mind a war boss. Either. A light at the stage would not be a bad draw either. Ooh, elemental tokens. Whoa, elemental tokens. Oh man. That is not something I was really expecting too much. Oh, that's a feels bad. Gone. That's a feels bad. Yeah, literally nobody knew. <laughs> nobody knew that. <laughs> Learn something new every day. Yep, yeah, the triple Phoenix draw first. So I was surprised, Lord Draxus, I was surprised that you didn't just minus three and exile the Phoenix immediately like that first Phoenix. That's what I thought you were going to do with the Chandra. If you would have done that, then you would have had cast down Bedevil. You would have had the two removal spells for the other one. But yeah, dang, I did not, I did not know that. So close. All right, well, I'm, I'm still at work here. We're in the nine to five range. All right, giveaway battle. All right, if you're a subscriber, you want to be the next person to play I, no, I don't believe the Scape Shift's the best deck. If you want to be the next person to play, go ahead and type the word battle into the chat. Gotcha. I'm playing for about an hour. We've got about an hour left here with our sub battle stream. I stream from 3 to 10 Eastern. It's, it's almost 9 o'clock Eastern. All right, everybody in there? Let's Yeah, let's keep these games going. Ivad. All right, Ivad, you're in here. Send me that gamer tag. And I'm spinning the wheel, see what deck I'm playing up next. What's my next deck going to be? There's my gamer tag. Sultai mid-range. Okay. We're playing some Sultai. Oh no, yeah, no. Rope battle too soon. All right, where's Sultai at? Sultai mid-range. There you are. All right, so this is our deck that we're about to play. I'm going to fix our forests. Got to do this for all these decks now with these card styles. Let's get this forest. Two of these.
So basically, Sultai Elementals with Explore, Command the Dread Horde, get a Yurok in here. And we're going to Yurok Ivad like a hurricane. Here we go. Oh, yeah, I didn't draw any cry of the Carnariums. Yeah, I like using... Yep, I got all the Fuller Lands. Yep. Yeah, there's... Yeah, Rekindling Phoenix is not, not a card that you see hardly at all. I mean, good hand, but just slow. If our opponent's playing, like, Control, this would be fine. But if any kind of aggro, it's going to be really slow. So I'm going to ship it. And also talk about slow. There we go. It's speeding up. I mean, we have turn one land war elf, so basically it's like, well, I'll keep turn one land war elf and hope I draw well. You rock. Oh no. Risen Reef. So jealous. I want a Risen Reef. I want that Risen Reef in the graveyard for my command. You rock your body right. We will, we will, you rock you. Boom, boom. We will, we will, you rock you. Right on schedule. Here goes nothing. Chumping with Fibble Thip? You can't do that. Can't chump with Fibble Thip. This is hardly my worst defeat. Get a land. Darn. So Yurok counts itself, right? It'll double. Yeah, it's a permanent. So yeah, we'll get the, the two Risen Reef triggers with Yurok. Oh, here comes Risen Reef. <laughs> he said to the channel, you rock. Um, I'm going to... Yeah... Right, which one is this? Hinchelin Harbor? So I'm going to decline that. Put that in my hand. Draw that so I can untap. Oketra! Catch her good. Let's right, see if we get a creature to put in the graveyard. That's a sweet one. Graveyard that thing. Hmm. I guess I graveyard that too. So three, six, eight, thirteen. I know my responsibility. Okay. Uh, what I have? Like eight Risen Reef triggers. Draw some cards. I don't think it really matters what order we do these in. We'll just do a bunch of triggers. Okay. Okay. 
Oh, sorry, I, I only did see half the fun. If you sub to the channel, you rock. But if you don't, you're okay. <laughs> that's that's really good. That's really good. I like it. Um, all right, our deck's great. I think Masker Girl. Yeah, this could definitely be a Masker Girl matchup. Probably instead of Vivian, let's get Masker Girl in here. Do we want two Masker Girls is the question. I'm, I may. So cast down is really important because of the night pack ambusher deck. Right now, y'all are talking about like you know the different removal spells that Grixis can be playing. So I cast down so valuable is it it kills night pack ambusher for two mana. And hey, look at look at those. And you know gets rid of the other the other thing the uh, cutthroat as well. And those are cards that you see more than uh, rid of Jade Light. Other cards you see more than Rekindling Phoenix these days. Uh, yeah. So yeah, you haven't played too much since M20's come out yet. The... The Simic Flash deck is pretty good. And that's important. Important to have the instant speed removal for that. Well, obviously, we are really hoping that Risen Reef hits a land for us. And then we also need to draw a land. So we're going to need a couple of lands here. Yeah, not as good as Sultai Flash. I agree. Well, it's got to be something that lets Hinterland Harbor come into play untapped. All right, I could just do that next turn, too. That's fine. A way to turn on Massacre Girl, I suppose. I'm kind of assuming that that's going to turn into Risen Reef. Risen Reef Battles. Oh, I did put the mirror image in there. Sweet. And Sack Leaf can get another reef.
Draw another four cards. Wow, just all spells, like no lands. Wow, that is awesome for me. Oh, that is great. Oh, that is great. <laughs> Deputy of Protection. <laughs> Oh no, wait. Uh, oh no, it's not going to work. They're going to die anyway. But whatever, I get the four triggers. Get some lands. Yeah, there we go. Get these lands into play. Alright, well we're, we both have full hands. Only had like a lot more life. Imagine me getting, you know, like five risen reefs and putting putting five risen reefs into play and getting twenty five triggers. If we had more life. What? Once I've had plane over there. Just didn't use a whole bunch of mana. And we know that Ivad has just tons of cards. Just didn't use like any any of that mana. Yep, yep, Yurok's got lifelink for me. That's four. So I'm gonna do that and mirror image it. Gave me a whole bunch of life. Good deputy, the Oketra. All right, so that's four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine. Yeah, so I was I was trying to get those to just gain a lot of life. You know, because, like, your rock, you know, they get two triggers, right? So, like, the, the flying thing, I'd gain six life, draw two cards. And so I'd, I'd clone it also. So I was going to gain 12 life, draw four cards. Fibble Thib, draw some cards. And be able to set up my other command to, to be even better.
Yeah, I can mask a girl again. I guess I do that. Oh, that's not going to work. Oh, I forgot about Shalaya activated ability. Okay, it works. Never mind. I guess the new... I guess the old Masker Girl dying triggered Masker Girl again. Entering the battlefield. Gates messed up. <laughs> What's up, Zeet? And so many good spells to the graveyard. Give me that Tamiyo. Hey, Carl Nugget with the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you so much there, Carl. Thanks for that support. You are subscriber number eight on the day. Two away from our sub goal for the ninth. Okay. Now what do we want to get? Just want to get... Tamio Reef. Oh, Tamio Deputy. Tamio Yurok. Forgotten. 
We're going to find some wild growth walkers in here at some point. We haven't seen a wild growth walker yet. So I'll take up name wild growth. Seek and find. Oh, I should have done the other Risen Reef first. I don't know, we may actually run out of cards. I'm gonna do it on mana. Yeah, I can do that. Still got double green. Okay, I actually do need to worry about decking myself. Stupid Risen Reefs. I need to, now I need to kill the Risen Reefs. I shouldn't have played that other one. I have to stay on top of my library. Just stay here. Alright, well I guess we'll be able to kill them next turn. Yeah, they're they're still dead, right? Pretty sure they're dead. Yeah, they should be dead. I haven't done no math yet. I follow the tracks of the wise. Give me deputy, copy deputy. I'll take Shalai also. I can't copy deputy. Rude. Well, this is a little bit more annoying. So deputy was still going to trigger twice. So we're going to be able to get rid of two things. I was going to just copy the Jade Light Ranger there. GG's there, I've had. I got that third top deck command the Dread Horde after you counted the first two. Pretty fortunate there. Hey, that's awesome, Starman. Sultai Flash. Crushing it, huh? Only dropped three matches to go from Diamond 4 to Mythic. First time at Mythic. There you go. That is awesome. All right, we're going overtime. It's not we're not on a nine to five anymore. Or I guess ten to five is technically a less less part of a shift. Anyway, let's, let's get a few more in here. We got about forty minutes left. So if you're a subscriber, you want to battle, you gotta click, gotta type battle now. We're gonna get this started. I'm gonna give you just a like thirty seconds, so we can try to get a couple more matches in here. Get in there now. All right, everybody in there? Who do we got? Starman. All right, Starman. Send me your gamer tag. Now I'm going to spin the wheel, see what deck I'm playing. Our wheel's gotten smaller. We've taken 15 decks off of it so far. There's still a bunch to go here. Stomping. All right. All right. We stomping. Stomp the yard. Selesnia style. All right. Send, send me your gamer tag. Starman. All right. Sweet. There's mine.
All right, and Selesnya Stompy. Let's check to see if my basics are updated here. They are not. I was using the right planes. Got to get the forest, though. Give me what this forest. Uh, I don't know how many I'm supposed to have. Eleven. Okay. So this is our Selesnya, Selesnya Stompy deck. It's pretty sweet looking. Here we go. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, Tony. Just be better. Be better than those choice of words. You good. Alright, well. Not the fastest hand, but I do like me some Steel Leaf into Vivian, so let's give it a try. Maybe we draw a Terminal Land War Elf? No, not that lucky. Alright, so Starman's probably playing the Sultai Flash, which most likely bad for us and this hand. By us, I mean me and this hand that I kept. Hey, Xanim. Thanks for the host. Welcome, everybody, from Xanim Stream. We are doing sub battles today. We do this the last Saturday of the month. And. Hey, Zam, going good. And we got about 40 minutes left in the stream here. Man, Sultai Flash is so good. We're going to be playing this Sultai Flash deck tomorrow. I'm doing um, a Rank Up Sunday stream where I'm playing four uh, good rank decks over there. Trying to rank up a mythic. That's a, that's my Sunday stream thing. So, so the champion of the steel is in, but likely not for long. Gets cast down and tyrant scorned. Does not match up well in this matchup. Oh, no removal. Wow, it's just in there. Interesting. This one and two. Whoopee. Fight. <clears throat> yeah, if you don't have Dire Fleet Poisoner, probably just more, like, Merfolk Trickster. But, like, Merfolk Trickster is tough on the mana. Um, is one. Uh, maybe just a little bit more counter magic and removal kind of thing. Though, like, Poisoner is, like, a, usually kind of a removal spell. But, yeah, if you're just missing one, you can maybe do something with that. Definitely assuming Starman has negate. I think that's a pretty fair assumption. Considering creatures resolved, but still cards in hand. 
Ooh, the chumpers. Getting into chump territory. Darn. I was, of course, hoping to cast Settle the Wreckage on the Ambusher. Ah, the Disdainful Stroke. Well, bad sign for us. Ooh. It's better. Of course, wish we had one more mana. I wish we could play two things. Yeah, I played it. I played a disdainful stroke in my in my main deck. It's a good card. Yeah, the pro so the problem with blocking here is if Starman has another Night Pack Ambusher, turning this thing into a four four power. Yeah. That's kind of the problem there. Wow, respecting settle. So most people most people don't know about settle at all, but you know, Starman watches the stream and everything, so he knows that my deck's playing settle. You know, we just played this deck the other day. I'm sure Starman was watching it. Well, we'll see if the counter spell shows up. Yep. GG's. <laughs> no, I don't think Starman's just stream sniping right now. All right, Summer, Ceratops, Carney T. We are cutting down on Arcbow Ranger. Just not that likely that Arcbow Ranger resolves. Settle's actually just not going to do anything whenever, like, like, they know to play around it and all that kind of stuff. Night Alarm's fine. Four power, three mana, it's fine. All right, here we go. Uh, 
Hell, stop referring to blue decks as cancer. Stop. It's so insulting to all the people that have had battles with the terrible disease. Just don't do that. Alright, I got I got punished. I should have just shocked in for turn one. I was thinking I was just gonna like play the blossoming sands, shock in for turn two. I should have just shocked in for turn one. Should always do that. <clears throat> Alright, we got all our Basically, our whole hand played. Next turn, we'll gain a life and get the Carnage Tyrant in. All right, Yud, have a good night. Carney T. It's going to be tough for Starman to beat that with two lands. But we'll see. Carney Asada. Sure, why not? This is countered. It's really no big deal. It's not like it does that much anyway. Alright, that's cool. There's no, you know, cutthroat though. You know, like, not able to play cutthroat. I haven't countered that. Yeah. Yeah, Starman just had the two mana. This is Starman's turn five now. No, don't block there. All right, well, we're probably not going to have turn four Carnage Tyrant again. Hopefully, that would be nice. But it's probably not happening again. Is Lyra just better than Vivian? That could be the case. I'm going to go with Lyra instead. Lyra is a card that we can hit with the little Vivian. Lil Viv. Yep, Dire Fleet Poisoner is perfect against Carnage Tyrant. Yep, so I got the four Dire Fleet Poisoners in there. And yeah, that's that's I forgot about that card, honestly. Yeah, I forgot. If Starman's playing my same list, should have four uh, Dire Fleet Poisoners. Hey, Kitty Dexterity, gifting out two subscribers. That gets us to our sub goal. Everybody get a bunch of hype in the chat for Kitty Dexterity. Santa Kitty. And there we go. Simpleton and LeJackal. Hope y'all enjoy your gifted subs. Use all your emotes and everything there. Awesome. So we're going to mark that down. So the, what the sub goals do is uh, they count towards our next... 12 hour stream which we were getting close I do a 12 hour stream after 20 sub goals and that was sub goal number 16 so we're only 4 away now I'm going to mark that down let's see if you're worthy Starting over is the only way. All right. 
Thanks, Kitty Dexterity. Our hand is like pretty awesome for this matchup here. With having the Champion of the Wilds in play, Night Pack Ambusher, also like, you know, Harpooner for the Sailor with Veil of Summer and everything. Like, our hand is pretty <laughs> awesome here. You have to do better than that. Jenny was a friend of mine. All things begin and end. It's probably not worth to attack for one, even though the Land Werewolf has Vigilance, I could. It's probably not worth it. There is like a Poisoner or something. Aw. Aw, oh, thanks, kitty. And James, thank you. Thanks, y'all. Uh, let's... Do I want to Veil of Summer that? Maybe not. Let's just play this thing, kill the Sailor. If I had one more mana, I would have amb like if I could have ambushed and protected ambusher with veil, I would have. Strike now, strike hard. Wait, Harpooner already has reach. I should have done to the troll. Ambusher would have been a good one, of course. Hmm. It did have Ambusher. Well, I feel like I need to play something. Yeah. I have to play this... Oh, don't let me untap. Just cast it during your end step. So yeah, Starman, you gotta cast that during your end step. Don't let me untap. I guess like this does mean that I don't get the extra wolf off Ambusher, I suppose. Because, yeah, you get to you do the... Still walk away. Get to let the ambusher trigger resolve. And then do that. Well, we're flooding out. Vivian Minus also didn't even hit anything. Draw from Veil, draw for turn, and the three cards off Vivian. None of them any good. So let's see what Starman's got here. Hey, Furious Fred. I am doing well. Doing real good. Wafu Gate! Getting that gifted sub from the boot. Planes? I want no planes. Have you ever lost a home? Sub number 11. Hmm. Well, I guess I'm just... I ran out of stuff to do. 
so the opponent, but it's not really a good attack, I don't think. We're both flooding out here. Yeah, a bunch of doggos. Look at all the doggos. Ooh, that's a good one. The mysteries of life are endless. Ambusher's probably getting countered if I play it, right? Let's wait one turn, see what our draw step plus Vivian minus is. Let me show you what was lost. Well, I would have rather drawn any of these <laughs> than draw the forest. So doing on their upkeep so they don't get to draw one more card if they have a counter, you know, if they were going to draw a counter spell. But then also if they were going to counter it, they would, they would not be able to trigger their ambusher. So like, how do I get through? Do I just start like attacking with a bunch of stuff, I guess? Tear it down. Do I just Tear not start attacking because I'm making two 4-4s four a turn where they're making a 3-3? Three three? So do we just sit here and I just keep drawing lands for a while? Maybe I'll draw spells? Probably not. It's probably just lands. I don't even have anything good down at the bottom of my library either. I don't think I'm going to win this. I do have Vivian though. Vivian's good. No, Vivian. Vivian's in the main deck. I got, I think, three of this Vivian... Either two or three of this Vivian, and then three of the four mana Vivian, and one of the five mana Vivian, as far as main deck cards go. You fight like a city brat. Yeah, I guess we have we have the engine here with the champion of the wilds. Do I have a flyer? For the fall. Yeah, there's a flyer. I think Sultai Flash is better because you get re removal spells and everything. I think Sultai is better than Simic. Ooh, flyers in there. Could just up, you know, could be could be a Noxious Grasp in here. This, this ends with probably my opponent drawing removal from my ambushers and killing me. It's probably how this ends.
Yep, that extra draw every three turns is nice. <laughs> I've seen puppies whine less than you. So nine blocks those. This blocks. Let's see a block there and there. That blocks there, there. So we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, so nine get blocked. And then one, two, three, four. Those all get blocked. So we'd have three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So twelve damage get through. Yeah, we're just gonna see. Ugh. Okay, with two interaction spells, I'm only doing six damage. This is not lethal, so I'm taking lethal on the way back. One interaction spell, I was fine. I still had lethal. Two, two I didn't. You know, that's that's the thing, you know, they had the two cards in hand. One of them just, you know, killed some. I guess if one of them killed Lyra, I still wasn't fine, but. Yep, opponent got me here. I wanted to play one more match before the end of the night. No, it shouldn't be lethal. I should just be doing... Well, is it? No, yeah, so three more blockers. One, two, three. Yeah, I'm just doing the six damage. Just Lyra and Lanwar Elf coming through. Yeah. Or wait. Was there another creature that I didn't see? That's, that's eight damage coming through. I guess there's one more creature that I had. Awesome. Okay, we got one. That was so close, yeah. We're going with one more. It's 9.50. Let's get one last match. If you're a subscriber, you want to be the, the next person to battle. You want to be the last one for the night. Oh, I guess I actually won that. I wrote that down that I lost. I thought I lost. Type the word battle. So GG's there, Starman. Awesome games. Awesome games there. All right, one more match. You just got a little bit of time. We're going to get started. Everybody in there? <laughs> yeah, that was... Yeah, that was a sweet ending there, Starman. That was cool. <laughs> All right, here we go. Who do we got? The one Rex. All right, Rex, send me that gamer tag. There's my gamer tag, and let me spin the wheel. Let the wheel decide. We still have a lot of decks on here, even though 16 have been gone. We started with, I think, either 40 or 41 decks on this wheel. What's my last deck of the night? Looks like we got some dinosaurs. Gruel dinosaurs, last deck of the night. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Thanks for stopping in and everything, waifu. All right, where's Rex? Where's your gamer tag? Oh, let me let me get the grilled dinosaur decks going. What am I doing? Dinos. Which dinos list is this? Oh, this was the the donation deck list. Okay. Let's fix our basics. All right, mountains are already good to go. Got to fix these forests. So basic land. Hold on. Oh, no, this is the gruel forest. What do we need 10 of these? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Now get rid of these. All right, time to, time to smush. Rex is the big red meanie. All right, good luck. <laughs> I know. Oh man, I've spent so much on all these full arts and everything. You know, I'll have it. It'll be a tax write-off, of course, or you know, an expense account. Or like you're gonna write off for that, but. The full art lands you can now get you can now get the card styles with the lands in the um in the shop. But but yeah, I justify it as like, you know, being the expense for making the stream look nice and every and everything. Yep. Rex, are you in there? I must have something wrong. I must have something wrong. I, I have a copy pasted here. The Rex, get back. Where are you at? What's wrong? So like since since the, the match isn't starting, either the Rex has something on my name wrong or I have something on their name wrong. Wait, so Rex, so there's no I here? No I? Okay. There's no I. Just mean. Oh, and it's case sensitive, so Wait, is there an I or not? That's capitalized. We'll see if this works. I'm guessing there's supposed to be an I. Okay, there is an I, okay. All right, third time. Let's see if we get this. All right, good luck, Rex. Turn two Spellbreaker is nice. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep turn two Spellbreaker but I need to draw spells to finish it off. Hmm. Turn to Marauding Raptor, like I said the first time. Ooh, okay. Got some planeswalkers. Let's haste it up. Let's 
Looks like we got Grixis Walkers. That's my guess. Oh, it could could definitely be Jeskai. Jeskai Walkers. That would also make sense. Probably more sense, to be honest. So Waifu or Wafu Gate? It's probably Wafu, not Waifu. Sorry. Wafu Gate, when do you when do you normally stream? Like what what hours do you usually stream at? Attack. Waif, waifu. <laughs> no sleep. I am not. That's more like it. Attack. Down to six. We're dinosaurs. We're smashing. You know, this gruel smash breaker isn't quite a dino. But honorary dino. 6 a.m. to noon central. 2 a.m. central to around Don't noon. -ish. Oh no! So yeah, you're the, you got the early morning shift. I'm known for my excellent. I was gonna see if you if you streamed late night like how I I usually get done like right about this time. I was gonna see, to see the uh, hoster stream, but. You're on in the, the other shift. You got the morning shift. All right, so is there sweeper here? Down to two. There's the sweeper. Is this a comeback? Oh, that's a dead card. Do we got the comeback here for the big red meanie? Yeah, I know, Kitty. Our opponent has too much here life. I agree. Feel the heat. Need to grab a spell breaker. Nope, not a spell breaker. Making this up as I go. So Narset doesn't have haste, so Narset won't be able to attack. And prepare. But up to four life now. They are coming. This is gonna be tough. That little bit of life from the interplanar bacon. Yeah, that was four four bacon life this game, right? Or no, five. No, four. Four bacon life. Ugh. That's not going to do it. Still taking 12. I could kill one of these flyers, but... All right, let's see, what do we want? Ceratops, Tyrant, don't want the Reckless Rages. Wow, there's only two Reckless Rages in here? That was unlucky. Drawn one of those. Ambush isn't as bad, because this can kill the Walkers. I don't really like Domri that much, but I guess we do kind of need the mana, possibly. So like, yeah, Fry kills like Little Teferi, but Fry doesn't kill Sarkin. Sarkin's kind of important to kill. Kills Big Teferi, but, you know, whatever. I think I'm going to go with this. I'm not sure about Collision Colossus. Maybe Fry's better than Colossus. Yeah, Fry's probably better than Colossus. Even though, you know, that, that kills the dragon that Sarkin makes.
Yeah, I could kill one planeswalker with a collision after, but like they had four, four power things. It's not like I, I can't like kill the Sarkin and then all the other planeswalkers don't turn into creatures anymore. Hmm. Well, might as well give this a try. Alright, so we'll have Domri on three, Reggie four, Carney T five. With no interaction from our opponent. <laughs> Nothing like a bit of violence, Nadler. We won't answer to other guilds. All right, I don't need any more lands over here. Yeah, I did tell the other girl player to cut Domri against control, but we're also playing a different deck here. Like than than they were playing. I'm playing you know like these expensive 6 mana cards. that I need to be able to cast. This dinosaur deck has a higher curve than a normal gruel deck. That's, that's more necessary to keep it in. No, this is not the go-to gruel list I'd run. No. Um, I do have a really good gruel list that I, w that I would recommend. Though, that's been... Probably my second best performing deck to Sultai Flash. Like those are like one and two of like my the decks in Mythic. Let me see if I can get you the list. Let me go to the Stream Decker page. Look. Hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. Were you doing something? Certainly tempting to look for, look for, you know, like good commune with the dinosaur, look for something that would make the Galta cheaper. Here we go, Th this list right here. Okay. All right, game number three. Yeah, so on that sideboard, um, you know, like, yeah, the Veil of Summers, that's obvious. Dire Fleet Daredevil is basically for all the, the Thought Erasure decks. Um, mono blue is is not as popular right now, so maybe the Crowl Harpooners can go from the sideboard. That could be something that could be replaced there. But I've liked, I've liked them. But that that could be that could change. Um, the more I play, and. I'm a huge fan of Reclamation Sage. A lot of people play Brontodon. But I'm more scared... I'm not as scared of Mono Red with the deck. Like, I'm like I'm just not that scared of Mono Red. Which is where Brontodon really shines. I'm much more scared of Nexus and Mono White. And against those decks, I want Reclamation Sage. Cinder Vines is better against Nexus than Reclamation Sage is. 
but against Mono White, uh, like History Banalia, I really want the Reclamation Sage to be able to trade evenly there. The other thing that is like, I have, Reclamation Sage has definitely helped against Nexus though, as like, even in game one, because of the Vivian Arcbow Ranger, uh, I've, you know, used that to grab a Reclamation Sage, like the minus five, like whenever they're just fogging me. And then yeah, Ceratops, Chandra, I guess again against Nexus or Hard Control there. Uh, I don't, yeah, I don't know what, or, so basically what I was saying is that the, um, the Kral Harpooner may not be necessary in the sideboard with Mono Blue not seeing a ton of play. I don't know exactly what to put in there, but like if you have something that, that you want to, like basically that's a card that could be replaced. With Mono Blue dropping down now. Uh, maybe like Blood Sun for, like, you know, like if, if like Scape Shift is, you know, turning into a big thing, maybe Harpooner, Replace harpooners with blood suns, kind of thing. Yeah, harpooners definitely a flex slot. And yeah, maybe like even maybe ceratops is a, like a flex slot. Flash is really starting to come down with everybody playing like Vela Summers and stuff. There's not nearly as much flash, so honestly, maybe ceratops isn't as necessary. So I can go Marauding Raptor, Ripjaw Raptor, <clears throat> and draw a card. I'm really playing into Cleansing Nova there, though. I'll just play this Marauding Raptor. I'm not going to play the Ripjaw. Also. It's like I could play Ripjaw and draw a card, but it's all... Just keep the ripped on hand. This is good pressure here. Oh yeah, I love love four drop Viv. She is so awesome. Love that card. Nope, did not play any team or goal list today. No, didn't. Didn't uh, end up getting that one in. No, <laughs> not me. That was that was one of my highest rated cards in the set too. That's definitely my kind of card though. Oh. I don't want to don't overcommit too much still to a wrath, but I want to have more than one creature on the on the battlefield. So it looks like I'm going with the 3-3 three, three Drover. I cannot cast the Spellbreaker. It has been binded by the powers of Ixalan. Yep. And it works really well with Growth Chamber Guardian, of course, getting counters on that thing, drawing, car like drawing other ones. Tyrant. That was a good time to draw that right before. So while they're tapped out, so they can't counter it. Hey, I guess Aether Gust. That's a counter. That's Aether Gust is like a counter spell for Carnage Tyrant. So their card is Ixalan's Binding. My card's also from Ixalan. We begin. Your end has arrived. 
Hmm. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of the Ether Gus, also. Uh, do they have another Soren? Uh, there's another one. I didn't play around another Soren. I feel like that's. I feel like I could have better. Oh, never mind. I did perfectly. I'm so smart. Always had that, obviously. Come on, I will consume you. <laughs> no, I can't play the three three because it was binded. Reach and trample. <clears throat> no, <laughs> no, I can't cast Spellbreaker. Can't cast Spellbreaker. Wow, that was very fortunate for me. So the the uh, twelve five seed. In our March Madness bracket. So we got here. That was very, very fortunate for me there. But yeah, Carnage Tyrant MVP. Right there. Alright, so that concludes our very fun sub battle Saturday. We're gonna be doing this again next month, the last Saturday of the month, also. And every month after that. That's that's our last Saturday of the month event. It's a whole lot of fun. Hope you guys had a lot of fun here in chat. We got to see a bunch of different decks. If you missed any of the videos, of course, head on over to the YouTube channel. You can see all the replays. I broke it up into four parts there. So you can see the, the different decks that I was playing and the opponents playing. It's a lot of fun. Um, yep, y'all are getting me next time. Y'all, Hey, y'all got me last time. Chat won last time, so I had to, I had to bring my A game today. Um, but yeah, if you're watching it later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed this, these videos also. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. But that's it here for Sub Battle Saturday. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next